In this video, I'll be covering the Action Attributes section of Suspensions in PowerSchool. If you haven't seen the video on filling out the rest of the suspension, click on the letter I in the top right corner of this video to find the link to that one. If you're entering a suspension of more than five days, the student must be offered a program. This information must be recorded in PowerSchool, and to do that, you'll need to open up the incident if you aren't there already. Once you're on the incident screen, scroll down, hover your cursor over the action you've already entered, and click the pencil. Once you see the Update Action screen, scroll down to the Action Attributes section. For the ONSA Suspension Expulsion Program type, select both Academic and Non-Academic. The ONSA Suspension Expulsion Program status field must be filled in for all students who have been assigned a program. For suspended students, select either Attended or Did Not Attend. For expelled students, select Completed unless the student declines the program. In that case, select Did Not Attend. The field will need to be updated if the student's status in the program changes. For example, if the student had indicated interest in the program but never showed up, change it to Did Not Attend. Expelled students will be updated by the Safe Schools Administrators, but suspended students will need to be updated by administration at their home school. For the specific ONSIS non-academic programs, enter a yes next to individual counseling. We do not use the other programs at our board. Click Add Action or Update Action to complete this form, and then click Submit Incident to save everything. 